This video is going to show you how to create a pop-up window. Now, this is old school JavaScript pop-up window is still used. Um, frequently it's used with like jQuery and things to make it look prettier, but it's the same concept. So this is a very simple implementation and you're more than welcome to use it as one of your special features on your website for the final. You need two things to have a pop-up window. That would be two separate HTML pages. You have one where the link that triggers the pop-up is and the other that has the content. So when I say pop-up window, I don't want you just linking to an image file. None of that. No linking to a JPEG or anything of the sort. So and and your pop-up can be anything. You know, it can be it can be designed, it can be super simple. So we're going to use uh an image that we're going to use this home page and then we're going to use this image map file which is just an image in an HTML page and we see here that it's 760 wide by 506 high. It's pretty big. Normally your pop-ups wouldn't be quite so large, but in this case it will be. So this is an actual HTML page holding an image. For me to count your pop-ups as being completely executed correctly, you need to have, if it's an image that you're going to with this pop-up, it needs to be an image inside an HTML file. The HTML file, if it is just an image that's being held in an HTML file such as this, would not count as a separate page to your site unless it was really nicely designed and you know, maybe it had some nav in it itself, which you could do. But for something like this, no, it's just a holder for the image. But that is a true pop-up window when you're opening it into an HTML page. When you're having them open into just the image itself, um, there's a bunch of different weird little usability things that happen so that's why I want it in an HTML file. Alright, so we have our two um, our two components, the page that will be the pop-up and the page that will trigger the pop-up. So on the page where um, we are going to trigger the pop-up, we are going to just put a link right here, the map our AMAP of the USA. Okay. And then it, your uh, an image could be could trigger a pop-up window too. It doesn't have to be text. And then we're going to select that text and in the properties inspector down here under link, we're just going to make that a pound sign now. Every version of Dreamweaver is a little different. This seems to be how it works in this version. I'll, I'll know when we're finished if we need that pound sign there or not. Usually the pound sign, it, that, that links to nothing, but what it does is it indicates in the code to the browser that it is a link, and so you get the, you know, you get the hand that says, oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a link. So that's why I usually put that in there. If you don't put that in there, sometimes you get no cursor indicating it's a link. Okay, uh, let's see. So next we're going to go to window in Dreamweaver and you can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Window and then behaviors. Then we're going to look for the open browser window behavior. So plus sign, click and effect and that is not cutting it. Oh, it would help if I had this selected. It would be really good. There we go. And now open browser window. Okay. So the next thing is it wants to know the URL we want to display. In this case, it will be, we want to make sure we're in our root folder, and it will be the uh, image map file. Or, yeah, file. And then we had, oh, what did we say? It was like 700, and we'll just say 725 for the width, and it was like 500 and something for the height, but we want it a little taller because of browser Chrome, so we'll go ahead and do 650 for right now. We can always adjust later. Now there's a bunch of options down here. If you want them to be able to resize their window, you click that. Do you want them to be able to have scroll bars if needed? Click that. Do you want them to have a menu bar, navigation bar, location bar, status bar? You don't have to. I would recommend that you at least have these two for usability's sake. You do have to give it a, a window name, and I think these window names need to be, again, it goes into the script, I think it has to be without spaces. So, map of USA. All right. 
and then we're going to click OK. The window name is invalid. No spaces, no special characters. OK, fine. Map of USA. There. All right. We're going to save and we're going to open in Firefox. And we're going to click on this. And look at that. We have a pop up window and I can resize it. I can resize it this way and I get scroll bars if it's too small. There you go. So that's all there is to a pop up window. Super easy. And like I said, I'm going to want to see that it's actually opening an HTML file for me to be cool with it.